Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you some healthy lunch ideas for school and work. And I made a video like this before, so if you want to check it out, you can. But yeah, I just really like making these healthy food videos for some reason, I don't know. But this is actually a collab with Shivana Codlin. I think I said that right, I don't know. But yeah, she makes amazing videos and she's really nice, so you should go check her out. I will link all her stuff down below. And the shout out from last week goes to Ansari Shahid. I don't know if I'm saying that right either. But yeah, if you want a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn my notifications on, and comment done when you're done. Or you could comment more video ideas for me because I'm running out of ideas. But yeah, with that said, let's just get right into the video. So for the healthy taco recipe, you are going to need some hummus, some cheese, some taco shells. I just use these because I really like the taste of it, but you can use whatever you have. I also put some peppers and some lettuce, cauliflower, and carrots. So I just started by spreading the hummus on and adding all the toppings to it. And yeah, it's pretty easy. You could even prepare this ahead of time so that you can just add the toppings and then you could just pack it in your lunch for school or for work. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Then I just decided to add some apples and peanut butter with it and it turned out really yummy. So to make the cucumber toast all you're going to need is some Italian bread, a cucumber and some cream cheese and I get the kind with the chives or the dill in it or you could just put that on separately. But I like this because it's really light and fresh and I don't know. I just think it's really good. And then I just decided to add some taco dip to it and I actually just got that from the store. So yeah, this was really easy and fast to make and it turned out really good. So I decided to show you how I make the energy bites first. So what you will need is 2 thirds cup of almonds and dark chocolate. And I use 6 dates but you can use however many you want to use and you also need a food processor. So yeah I just blended all the almonds first and then I slowly started adding the dates in like 2 at a time until they were all blended. And then I just blended the dark chocolate chips and once you do that you can just roll them into balls and when you're not using them you can just put it in a container in the fridge and yeah it's a really healthy treat that I really like a lot. <laughs>
So this is one of my favorite salads. You will need spinach, some strawberries, poppy seed dressing, some pecans, and some dried cranberries. So yeah, I just started by putting all of that into a bowl. And usually I would add a little bit of red onion to it as well, but I couldn't find it. But it still turned out really good, and yeah, you should give it a try. So you guys probably already know how to make a sandwich, but I thought I would still show you this idea. So I just started by toasting an English muffin and I put some mayonnaise on it, some cheese, some lettuce, and some turkey I think it was. I can't remember what I put on there. But yeah, it turned out really good actually. And then I just put some grapes and some chips and hummus with it. So yeah, this is like a quick idea if you're running late to school and you're trying to pack your lunch really fast and it's still really healthy so yeah So to make the summer spring rolls, you are going to need some lettuce, apple cider vinegar, carrots, hoisin sauce, some creamy peanut butter sauce, which I didn't have so I had to just melt peanut butter in the microwave, but I would recommend getting peanut sauce, it would taste much better. And you're going to need some Annie Chan's Mayfin rice noodles, some cooked shrimp, and some Vietnamese rice paper. So I just started by boiling the water and then I put the noodles in when it was ready and I added one fourth cup of warm water with four teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. And this is to make this sauce by the way so sorry if this looks really gross but yeah, you're going to need the sauce because otherwise it tastes too plain. So then I added 4 tablespoons of hoisin sauce. And then you would add 1 tablespoon of creamy peanut sauce, which I didn't have. So I used peanut butter that I melted in the microwave. And then I added a little bit of sugar. Next I just put the rice paper in the water so that it gets sticky and then I just added the lettuce, the shrimp, the carrots and I also added the noodles that I cooked and then you just fold it all up and yeah it turned out really good. <laughs> 